He's dead. Why do you have to put it on the hardest setting, mate? Because we're hard. We're not hard. hard. We just died, like, really quickly. Certainly, I think this place has value to me because it's something I can escape to. Uh, like, even more so, I want to go back to these worlds because in some games, my friends or random people can join me, which is something that games can offer well, when I was a kid anyway. These virtual worlds have just, I don't know, evolved and changed so dramatically over the last few decades, from like a like a like an eight bit lonely experience to whole worlds where me and my mates can explore. It's not real in you know a tangible physical means but it, it's real within the oh, digital world because I can interact with it I can I can go to that place even if it's just my computer as a kind of portal to oh, it um, I, I can go to the place I can experience <laughs> different environments I can experience different um, dangers and challenges mainly challenges I like the challenges within games and within the places that they give us to uh, experience. Oh my god! He's oh god! Run! 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 Oh god! Hikes down! I think these virtual places exist uh, in a number of like I don't know different ways. They exist like I don't know somewhere on the it exists somewhere on the web or on a disc or like even on another computer like the developer's computer or whoever made the game like the with the computer and like. I don't know with my sight as well. Obviously, it can help me decode the information that the, the screen is giving me, so I can interpret this world, and it makes the place real. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess it's manipulation, but who's to say the <laughs> who's to say our senses aren't being manipulated to change our interpretation of reality? Oh, oh no! Oh, done! Am I the last one? Oh, okay, right, we're all.